Similar to the other centers of the member countries of the West Africa Agricultural Productivity Program, the National Center of Specialization of Ghana continues to maintain its leading role in variety research and cassava processing. The new cassava varieties have shed a new light on the production of this tuber and the development of the cassava sector in Ghana. Thanks to the high yield and their resistance to mosaic, these varieties enable producers to double or even triple or quadruple their production. One of these newfound varieties is undoubtedly the Ampo, launched by WAP. It is the Ampo, and so far is the, the, the topmost of all the four varieties that we have released in terms of yields, its uses for foods, the local food preparation for industrial uses. And um, now it is um, in almost all parts of, of the country. The yields range from between 25 to 55 tons and even beyond. In places where soil fertility is very, very high, farmers are getting as high as 60 tons per hectare. The numerous technologies achieved by researchers in cassava production offer great economic opportunities. In fact, a value chain has been created around cassava sector in Ghana, ranging from the fields to the consumer's dining room. For WAP Ghana, these technologies can help promote youth employment. As SME small medium enterprise, we give the high quality cassava flour to the caterers to use, as uh, we call that one Banku uh, cassava dough flour. And then when we go to the, uh, we have the industrial grade one, which is being used for manufacturing of plywood. Because of uh, people who want to try it and see how good it is before they, or they place their order, we bag in 50 and 25 kg. And then the price aspect is 100 Ghana per 50 kg, 50 Ghana for 25 kg. My message is simple. You want to get into something which is sustainable, in which one, you can compete, can make money, and it has a future. Like I said before, we can grow cassava very, very effectively in Africa because we have very good varieties, it is labor intensive, and we have the climate and the soils. Not only that, you can start small and you can scale up. You can start doing simple products. You can start doing chips for animal feed. You can start doing flour for the, wheat, for the, um, the bakery industry. From there, you can go on to doing glucose for the, for the uh, beverage industry. Or you can do starch for the uh, starch-based industries. Or you can do alcohol for the cosmetics. Pharmaceutical. So it's a chain. You can grow with cassava. And like I said before, it is not difficult to grow because it's a very robust crop. It grows in bad soils. It can resist drought, it's a disease tolerant, and you can also intercrop with cassava. You can grow cassava at the same time grow with maize at the same time or granuts. So you can get income, you know, short term and long term from cassava and also you can add value to it and make more money.